What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is uh, Sunday's Update, Sunday Service, Episode 2, Progress on the 1964 Impala. Current build here at Outcast Customs and Lowriders, Detroit, Michigan. Um, we're in the shop. Uh, updates. Let's get right into it. Uh, let me flip the camera around and see what we got going on. Battery rack is fully installed. Four, four, three pumps, eight battery setup, and I will go. This is just flat back right now, real quick. I got some paint on it and everything, and then uh, we will completely. This trunk will be nice and completely done, and painted really, really nice and set up. Once I'm done, just want to give you guys an update on the progress of that. And uh, I'm going to be installing the uh, solenoid bars today. We will have them on that side. Solenoids there and solenoids on this side. Get them all wired up nice and pretty. And then our nice custom Outcast Lowriders pumps. And the whole setup back there with our backing plates for the whole entire trunk. Going to look good. So, yep, that's the trunk's progress. Battery rack is in place. Mounts are in place. Looking all nice. I'm going to get on to painting it and doing some other stuff today, but we will get the Noid mounts in today, the Noid bars in today, and get those in before I paint anything else. I'm going to get it all one nice flat black, perfect everything first, and then I'm going to go into the nice color, our signature color that I want to paint the mounts and rack itself and the tie downs as well. So that is a beautiful work that we're doing right now. Uh, try to make it look all nice and flush on our welds like it's all one piece per like factory specs. Let's get underneath this car right now, and then I'll show you the progress that we made down here too. Uh, got my light, uh, just so you guys can see. Continue the clean up on the frame, get these edges rounded out, and as the last update you guys did see, I didn't have no arches put in at all. Right here in this section, we did get those welded in, and we will get this cleaned up a whole lot better, and get the, uh, the edges are all nice and rounded and everything. We are going to work on these uh, spring purchase today. And I'm going to make my uh, templates and get my steel cut out for these uh, spring purchase as well right here. And get those covered up and everything nicely. And then inside of these as well on that side. And then uh, also I got my steel that's currently on the floor underneath me right here. That is going to be going on this under arch right here on this side. So we can fix all that. On that section today, I'm about to work on that first thing right now, and I'll get this in place on that end, so I can get that fitted in, and then my other piece is sitting up there on the other little, oh, uh, you can see it from here, a little piece, a piece of steel for the back end over here, the finishing part, we'll get that uh, nice and cleaned up as well, and then I'll uh, weld it in, and then uh, I can start to clean up on this side. Uh, that's it on the agenda for today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, another thing as well. I do gotta, uh, we will be getting down here as well. And uh, I gotta cut out the tunnel down here for the drive shaft so uh, I can have nice and uh, good room for the uh, drive shaft to uh, move when the uh, car goes up on its hydraulics. And then, uh, yeah. Yep. But. We're all locked in place and everything like that. Nice, perfectly safe cars in the air, locked up on the uh, air jack and everything like that. And uh, we will get that tunnel cut out today too on the uh, X-Frame. And then uh, get the rest of these templates made today. Get this stuff cleaned up. Get this steel right here above my head formed out for this uh, arch that's on the other side. For that bend, get that formed out and cleaned up. Got the back end ready to rock and roll already. And... um. Get everything formed out and uh, rounded and cleaned up really, really nice. And uh, get her all nice and painted and uh, start the insulation and everything else. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in for this week's uh, Sunday's episode. And uh, update for the current 1964 Impala lay and place setup build here at Outcast Customs and Lowriders. Stay tuned next week for more content. And then uh, bits and pieces throughout the week of uh, updates and so on and so forth. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for following along. Check you later. Peace out.